Let's start with an introduction to the IELTS speaking. Of course, the IELTS is the International English Language Testing System, and speaking is only one out of four sections on the exam. There's also the reading, writing, and listening sections. Now, some students are great with the reading, writing, and listening. They've studied, they've read their books, they've practiced, but they're very nervous, they're anxious, they're even afraid of the speaking section. What I want to do is introduce the section to you so you know what it's all about. Here's an overview of what you will find in the speaking section. It's a live conversation, <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. It's you and, and the examiner, the person who's interviewing you is called the examiner, and you're having a conversation. So you're not just sitting in a chair next to a computer in a boring room and recording your voice like a robot. No, no, no. You are speaking to a live human, and it's a lot of fun. Some people get nervous, but don't be nervous. It's just a live conversation. And many students actually enjoy this part of the exam. So you should enjoy it too. Now the IELTS speaking section is in three parts. Part one asks basic questions. These are questions about you. These are not difficult questions. You should know the answers to all these things. And we're going to, of course, practice how you can answer them very well. But they're just questions about you. Things like your home. Do you live in a home or a flat apartment? Uh, tell me about your hometown or family or do you study or do you go to work? These are kind of basic questions about you. You might see these on part one. This is probably the easiest part of the exam. Part two, you give a short speech, a monologue, where it's only you speaking. So this man in the picture, this is the examiner, right? He's just listening to you. He's not, he's not speaking to you at this point. You are just telling him a story. Now, he'll give you a topic that he wants you to speak on, but then he'll listen intently, just like you can see him doing here. You'll have to speak for only one minute, or if you have a lot to say, you can speak for two minutes. So it's just a very short speech. Part three is a more in-depth conversation. You'll be talking about some abstract themes like the future or society. Typically, part three topics will be based on the part two topic that you just finished speaking about. These can be really fun too because these are back and forth conversations where you get to show off your great grammar skills and your English vocabulary. So that's what part three is. And that's all. You have part one, part two, part three, and you're done. It's over before you know it. So the total time is just about 11 minutes. It might be as long as 14 minutes, but it's pretty short for all three parts of the speaking section. It's really less than 15 minutes long. And if you're having a great time while you're taking the exam, it'll be finished before you know it.